Act two is the hardest. Well, Act two is the hardest, except for the giant head. You know, that's that's not including the elites. Giant head is a very big run killer if you're not prepared. When we had in barricade. We had limit break, but my barricade wasn't really generating that much block. I don't know. I wasn't doing enough. Nice trout. That's the best, man. Let me see Baku. Baku, that looks amazing. Let me show this on stream, Baku. That looks fantastic. So what? What? Uh, describe this card to me. What is? What card is this? Take a look at this, guys. Look at that. Wait, is that the silent? You gave the silent a little bit of a booty. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, what? That's the ironclad. Oh my god. I uh, I checked out the ironclad a little bit, and uh, you know what? No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Ironclad's got a little booty. What can I say? What can I say? Ironclad's been doing squats. Clearly, he's been doing squats. No shame. I mean, Baku did that intentionally. He 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 knew what he was doing. <laughs> I just took fifty percent of my HP on the silent. That might, that might be an issue, guys. We'll do predator though. Predator though. Enunciate, Jeremy. Enunciate. You took another eleven damage. You're 19 HP on Act 4-3. Um, let's see how this goes. Gay baited. <laughs> you know, what could happen is that we can get the waffle. That would be bad value, but it could happen. I'll take one damage. I can't afford it, but I'll take it anyways. We call this reckless. Leg sweep or bouncing flash? I like the leg sweep. I do, I do, I do. Yes, sir. The wheel change is gonna give me the ship. Ooh, we got a toxic egg early. Oh, we got the instance burner. These are both these are my my two one of my two favorite relics. Two of my favorite relics, actually. Toxic egg. Instance burner. Toxic egg this early in the game has gotta be a pick. I know instance burner is a, is a sexy, sexy son of a gun, but this early toxic egg? You can't take it. You can't not take it. Take a footwork as well. I mean, I'm feeling confident that that's going to secure the victory. Let's just not jinx ourselves and die right right now. Oh yeah, I wanted the waffle. Can't can you blame me? The waffle, man. You win if you don't die. That's the rules of the game. So back after seeing the Ironclad do that, I want I want to see what you can do with the defects. I want to see if the defects been working out too. Yeah, dodge and roll well they plans. Hmm, well they plans is very good. But that's six six block with footwork even better. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm gonna rest. Please don't be grumbling. 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 God damn it. Hell on a cracker. Of course it's gremlin. Maybe we can do this. I don't know. Jesus Christ, this guy's an animal. So dodge and roll is doing 6-6. Six, six. This is doing 11 now. I gotta think what's better. 6-6, six, six, 11 now. 11 now blocks 11, clearly. This blocks 12. This is better. It blocks 12, effective damage. That's clearly better. Yikes. Okay, let's get the weaken. And this is again, 8-8. Eight, eight. A 16 effective damage. Dodge and roll is the MVP. Lexip was a consideration, but I like that. I like that a lot. Boom, boom, boom. We're almost there, guys. We should give me lethal very soon. Give me Predator. That's all I need. There we go. All right, we got through it. Oh, of course, we got the best relic in the game. You know, when we get one of our favorite relics, we got to get our least favorite relic. It's only fair, right? It's only fair. I like the cow traps because it gives me 
some damage that our de deck is lacking against this guy. But the deflect is pretty good. I think the cow traps is pretty good though. We need that damage. Cloak and dagger. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. You want to see a win streak stream? Okay. You want some win streaks? You want to try hard? Say no more. Shuriken, cloak and dagger. Say no more. Let's go. Win streak mode. All right. So we got cloak and dagger. We got shuriken. What could go wrong? He says. What could go wrong? He wants the win streak. He wants to try hard. You're not going to like me when I try hard. I'll tell you that much. You're not going to like it. No, that's fine. Uh, we can do wish stream. So, we'll, we'll try to get some... Um, I meant to do forward first. Clearly. Not that it makes a difference, but... I mean, it does, because that would have been eight. It does make a difference, actually. No, not really. This, I'm, I'm taking a lot... This is actually a really hard fight. This fight is so annoying. Ridiculously annoying, this fight is. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Dreamcatcher's amazing, dude. Dreamcatcher gives you card selection for resting. Which you're probably going to do at some point. Dreamcatcher's so good, dude. Imagine Dreamcatcher now with Toxic Egg, I can rest, get my healing back, right, and get a card that's upgraded with Toxic Egg. Dreamcatcher is fantastic. On the other hand, Runic is not doing shit. Dude, Dreamcatcher is so good, man. If you're sleeping on Dreamcatcher, you gotta change your mind about it. So Stormer Steel is giving us a Shuriken, right? Whereas this is doing a lot of damage with if we get shuriken stacked up this is doing a lot of damage i like the skewer better but i feel like this is less flexible and it can work with discard mechanics but i think this is the skewers just skewers to play but yeah imagine i have dreamcatcher here right i rest and i get a nice little upgraded card with it that's the only way it works Freko. oh i see you i see you dude What's up, Amory Ferris? And then she threw Trust in a row? Yeah, it's okay. Who cares about lethal? People even go for lethal nowadays? Is that a thing? I used to... <laughs> lethal. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, Spike. I'm playing too fast. I, I knew I was gonna play fast for somebody. All right. Any tips on learning cards? Okay, so Spike, if you see a card, do exclamation point type the card in the chat, and it can help you read the ch uh, But he the best thing for you to learn, I would say, in my stream, is just ask questions. Ask questions, and the chat can help. I will help if you ask me questions. Just put my name at me and ask me a question, I'll try to help you explain. But, um, or I'll explain to you, not help you explain. I can take one damage and do... Nah, that's just block. But yeah, if you want to know how to do a card, just exclamation point, put that card in it if you if you don't know what a card is doing. How much do you value over... I uh, don't value outmaneuver that that highly. Uh, outmaneuver is something I'll, I consider more often when I have ice cream. Or let's say I have... If I have Predator, and I can squeeze in a card like outmaneuver, which is... Not doing anything in the, the current turn and is not really doing that much defensively or, or anything at all, then I can squeeze in the outmaneuver and I can get some value out of it. I think outmaneuver has some value with malaise and outmaneuver can do things with skewer as well, but it's not that card. I don't value that card that highly. And I think you'd be better off. Oh, I meant to do. Oof. That was. We don't talk about that. You'd be better off maybe not taking the outmaneuver most of the time. But sometimes you might find yourself in a position where, like, yeah, ice cream. There's certain situations, like well-laid plans with malaise, etc. But yeah, it's not that high. Good of card, rather. I just take a lot of damage. My God. 
I like Deli Poison and I like uh, Deflect, but I think Deli Poison I like better. Although maybe we say no poison, which do strength scaling and do um, keep the, the blocking with Deflect. Why are you disappointing reloading? What happened? Yeah, I'll check it out, Slime. I, I, I hear there's a new update. I'll check check it out. I like Deli Poison, but I also not sure if I. You know what? I have Predator card draw. I guess I can take a Deflect. We have five card draw anyways, and Deflect is a little underwhelming. But I'm not. I'm never opposed to having like excess block or just always abundant in block, as long as I'm scaling with Shuriken. I'm happy. Oh, I missed your question, dude. What was your question? Sorry, man. What is love? Oh, baby, don't hurt me. Is that is that answer your question? Okay, I'm excited to do the replace fire. Man, this guy's a pain in the butt. What do you think is the best design card and the worst design card in the game? Trying to get into modding and some thoughts may help with balance. Okay, the best design in terms of balance, the best design card. Okay. I think the best design card obviously takes into account both its opportunity cost and you know it has good a clear strength but also a clear weakness. So I think one of the best design cards is I have to think about that dude. I have to think about that. One of the best design cards. That's a deep question. I'm gonna have to think about that man. Do I want to rest? I feel like we have good week and good damage that we don't need to rest. I think once we get rolling with footwork and our block, and because we have all these sources of weaken, I think we don't need to rest, right? The, the only consideration is, can I proc his first form so I'm not taking that big hit? I think we can. In which case, I'm going to upgrade. I might want to upgrade the footwork just to have consistent defense, but I also want to upgrade the predator to get better... Um... Damage, front loader damage for his split. Uh, this is risky. I always do this. I always do this. I always ruin a good deck by doing this, guys. I'm actually going to do Skewer. This is risky. If I don't get the damage now, I'm, I'm fricked. Should be fine. We're fine. Hey, they're going well. It's hard, Vard. What's up, man? How you doing? Let's uh, do a little bit of skewer. Obviously, skewer is nice because you can proc shuriken for free. So we got the weaken, of course. We got cloak and dagger, which is the scaling. I love it. We can go for the weaken and the poison, or we can go for just full block. I think we go full block, of course. Crippling cloud will have his moment in the sun. Just want to get it out of there. Once I get it out, we're we're happy. Let's get it out of the cycle. Do damage because I want to make sure I don't get hit by this big old hit right here. Dodge and roll is not bad, but again, I think we have so much consistent block that I'm not inclined to play dodge and roll. Crippling Cloud, this is, the, this is the moment to shine, baby. Come, come to light, baby. That's all I needed. There's one moment to play you. And now we just, no, I think our deck just wins. Easy. Easy peasy. Skewer. Well, we want to get the weak and reapply it, right? And we want to do Predator. But Skewer is not bad either. I like Predator better. And we got Shuriken. Ooh, se a, a zero attack does reflect damage. That's good to know. It's just whenever you play an attack, it doesn't matter if it does damage. It's good to know, guys. And now the scaling is coming to life. And you guys already know that Shuriken is like one of my favorite relics. Shuriken is one of my favorite relics. 
how can it not be? How can it not be? GG! What's my favorite X card? My favorite X card is uh, Malaise. Naturally. So Envenom's not bad, right? But it's, I already have scaling. I don't need Envenom. I think I'll just take Doppelganger. It's upgraded. I can play it for free. Ectoplasm, Busted Crown. You know, I like the fact that I can get card selection because I have Toxic X. I'm going to go ahead and take Ectoplasm. The gold, obviously that sucks, but... I think X cards have good design, yep. But X cards can tend to be kind of uh, broken, right? If you look at some of the X cards that they made in the mods, some of them are a little crazy, guys. Like, for instance, Decrepit. Decrepify. There's also... Um, I want to get rid of his artifacts, but... That's 30 damage. Let's get Shuriken instead. There's Decrepify, there's Pain Bolt. There's a lot of, like, modded cards that were really not that well designed. See, if I would've got rid of... If I did Leg Sweep, this would've been a week right now. Feels bad. So now we're taking all that damage to the face. All because I didn't do Leg Sweep. Uh, I'm talking about uh, repl replay aspire. I'm talking about mods pin pincho, so you won't know what decrepify is. My bad. But there's uh, I was talking about the witch mod, blur. Yes. Chemical X. The this increases the cost of your X cards. Whoa! So this is what everybody's been talking about. Chemical X, right? And that makes it better for my skewer and my doppelganger. You know what? Skewer and doppelganger. Let's do it for YouTube. What's up, YouTube? We're doing Chemical X builds. <laughs> Let's, I like backflip. I also like the deadly poison. I like the backflip. Yep, it's called this. Look. Do not combine with sugar, spice, and everything nice. I mean, I get I think Decrepify is actually fine. What makes it broken is the um, is Schadenfreude. I think Schadenfreude is very strong. I think Schadenfreude is the problem, actually. It's not Decrepify, it's Schadenfreude. Wait, is Anthony here? I want to try this out. Nice. 5-5. Five, five. Skewer is doing... Oh my god. Doppelganger into Skewer, guys. That's a thing. The Tactician. For energy. It could be good. I don't have discarded though. If I had discarded, I wouldn't mind. Alexi plus again. You know what? I can take it. Well, Dagger Spray is good AoE with the Shuriken as well, and I don't really have AoE. I like the blur, but I also like the crippling cloud. Ah, let's do blur. I have to check out the Juggernaut. I, I gotta see what the Juggernaut's all about. Ooh, that's that's damage. That's damage. So it increases by two, right? So does that mean it's gonna do two more instead of like it'll do ten here? Instead of okay, so if that's gonna do ten, I can do this then. It should do eight, like eighty-eight. Yeah. Squeeze a predator in there.
My lady. You mean Malady? My lady. You mean everybody in the comments are gonna say Malady? My lady. How do you trigger a whole bunch of people? My lady. That's how you do it. It's Malady! Pronunciation is a, a really touchy thing for people. So we got Terror with the Skewer. I'll take it. Phenol Pain. Phenol Pain? Yeah, Phenol Pain. Oh, that's lethal. Oh boy, that's lethal. Chemical X, you're a G. I love it. I love it. Yes, I do. It's not modded, baby boy. This is all on the live server. Live in the flesh. Seven card draw next turn with five energy. I'm in heaven. Is this what happen feels like? Is this what it feels like? Wait for malaise. Don't tell me I'm gonna get a malaise. I like fish stats because I get a lot of card draw with Predator and Doppelganger in the backflip, and then I can use that strengthening from Shuriken for the Flechette. So at the same time though, I have a lot of attacks, not that many skills, but Flechette's still pretty good. But maybe I like ba backflip instead. Maybe I just do backflip and make this just be a skewer deck and forget about everything else. Skewer is good enough with Chemical X that I don't need anything else. 80, Jev? Uh, not too often, man. Not too often because I feel like if you're crafting your deck properly, you try to mitigate unlucky hands. But there are times where I lose because of unlucky hand, yes, but I don't think it's that often. I often lose because I make, you make a mistake, probably. There are times where I make, uh, get unlucky hands. Like, let's say I have a decent deck, but I all the important stuff are at the bottom. So what happens, okay, sometimes, where I need an important power that's at the bottom of my deck. I need to get, like, a barricade or funeral pain that's at the bottom of my deck. I need my defrag or something else, and my frost that's at the bottom of my deck. So that, uh, that happens sometimes. It d definitely happens. Because I scummer said a lot. Rookie, I don't know if you've been here recently, but if I've ever done that, it's because like, I realize I made a mistake, I go back and try to fix it, and then I just abandon the run. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, this fight sucks. I, where's the uh, skewer when you need it? <laughs> Let me take a second to talk about that there's no percent functions in combat whatsoever. Ex example, 10% change to copy, apply, put 10%. 2%, 10% of the... Yes, uh, that's true. And you think that's a good or a bad thing? I mean... I... I like that, that everything is very black and white, right? We we have the damage, we have this, we have that. There's no percents RG. And I, I appreciate that. I think this game is successful because of... The RNG is within the relics and with the card choices. There's no RNG within the combat, and I like that. I think if you put RNG in combat, you're you're messing up the game. I like that this is like exact. This is what why is Slate Spire so successful? It's like you see the damage is coming to you and you know what you can do with it. You don't have to worry about anything in the between. Chemical X. Yeah, the RNG is good on the outside of the fights. It's nice to have the control within the fights. And that's what's so successful. The control within the fights. The RNG that you have on the outside. Doesn't, you know, you know what, let's, let me explain why. So let's say you have a deck, right? But your deck, you get a bad RNG roll in the fight, and you're like, oh, come on, that's bull crap. I'm so upset about that. But if you get RNG on the outside, at least you're still getting a relic. Yeah, you don't get the relic you want, but you still got a relic. And you still, you have, you still have that control within the fight. So you feel, you're never really upset about the RNG in Slayer's Bar. You never, you never really get tilted because it's like, if you get tilted, it's because you made a mistake. You miscalculated. You did something wrong. You took, you chose the wrong card. Okay, you got some unlucky sometimes, but most of the time it's on you. 
And I like that. I don't want to worry about 10% for this, 10% for that. The lightnings are random. The events are random, yes. But that stuff is okay, whatever. You chose, like, the, within reason, there is, like, there is RNG. But it's not something that's, like, super frustrating. I don't know. I, I like it. I'm going to rest again. Yeah, there's lightning. Lightning, defect has the most RNG. But there's lock on, right? Remove a card or upgrade? I mean, I'm going to remove a strike, actually. I mean, I don't mind upgrading the defense, but I, um, I want to remove a strike. Elegance. I want to get the, the, um, the shuriken, but I also don't want to take damage, right? I mean, who wants to take damage? No, lock, no one, people, no one uses lock on, that's the joke. Unfortunately. So catch up is good in this fight, for sure. And we'll do the doppel. Although I wish I had, the, you know, skewer's not bad. I think maybe doppel, just to get it out of the way. That's so good, man. Holy crap. Wait, does, I can play this for free. Wait. Oh my god, I didn't even think that... Oh god, that's crazy. That's crazy. Took a second for me to realize that that is what's happening. Cloak and dagger, yes. So we just get shuriken and we win. I mean, we get um, skewer we win. Oh my god, dude. Doppelganger is so insane with Chemical X. Oh boy. Bouncing Flash or Slice? Um, you know, Slice is okay for Shuriken, but I don't know if I need it, honestly. I don't think I need it. We have a decent amount of cards where the Slice is okay. I'll take the Slice. Or the Bouncing Flask is upgraded. I don't need it, though. Who are we going against? I guess what are the artifacts? That's one thing I can do, right? Use that for the artifacts? Nah, I'm just slice. Let's try it out. I, I don't need slice, but I, I took it. Do I want to rest again? Nah, we're good. Let's use this bad boy. Oh, dude, this is going to be doing 60 damage, right? But we can make it do this 30 damage, so we can play this for one and kill the guy on the right. We kill the guy on the left. Play it for one. Which means I could do... Like this. And kill this guy. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can play this... For seven. I get 7 energy next turn. But if I had Skewer in my well laid plans, I would take that. But now, I'm not too sure. I'll play for that, right? 4 energy. 6 card draw. Terror. Footwork. It's a Crippling Cloud. Let's do that. Let's get one more attack. Or that. Where's Blur? There's Blair when you need it. Beautiful. Yeah, the slice wasn't that big of a downside. We have enough card draw, I would say, to like make it not that big of a downside. Um Skewer right now is doing 18 times 6. It's not bad. Do I want to kill the guy on the left? I mean, I could. Let's just do it. Let's attack. Let's, let's not waste. Yeah, let's do that. I, I'm happy with that. Because predators are probably gonna be lethal. Easy. 
What an easy fight. This deck is killing it, guys. Really strong. Cow traps again or deadly poison. I can just probably skip here. Another cow trap is not bad. Like, I can afford to play another cow traps. That's fine. Yeah. I'm happy with that. You know what? Let's, do, let's upgrade both of them. 10 reflect damage. Why not? How do you inf activate infinite inspired tears? What do you mean by tears? Let's do the terror now. Easy. Ooh, nice. What do you mean by tears? The upgrades. Oh, the perks. So the perks come after you finish the first uh, act three. So just do endless mode on infinite spire. And you're good to go. Is it better to draw the card or already have it in your hand? What card are you talking about? Oh, I have a thick deck mentality when I already have a winning condition. Winning deck. Yeah, my deck is probably already done. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I, I can agree that I often maybe make my decks thicker than they need to be. You're not wrong about that. And this in custom. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, that's annoying. Do I want to use it for that? Yeah, I'll use it. It's fine. It counts as just one attack. Uh, go go goody or Gotti. Just one attack. Look at that. If I didn't play Double Ganger, I wouldn't have had full block. Gorgeous. Any easy rules of thumb when you skip a card early on? I feel like I always blow up my dirt way too early. Okay. Yes. There's some, a good rule of thumb, I would say, early on. All right. So early on, try not to get too many two-cost cards. And try not to have too much of offense, right? So if you, you start off with five strikes. Let's, let's talk about the Ironclad. That's, I guess, the easiest example. You start off with five strikes. Unless you got removal from the Bosch or whatever, the Whale. And then there is, um... You have Bash as well, which is a two-cost attack. Which is... You know, not that good by itself. I mean, it's, it's good, but you should probably upgrade it. And uh, then there's, you're going to be offered things like Uppercut, Clothesline, Twin Strike, yada, 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 yada. You're going to only probably want to take like a, a nice offensive card. I would say an Uppercut or a Clothesline. Maybe you could take a Twin Strike or a Show Boomerang or something just to increase your offense. I, I think Act 1, you want to go... Get a, a, hand, a nice little offense to to do DPS and maybe handle elites, but you don't want to get that much more than that. You still want to make sure you're getting defense as well. So a nice rule of thumb is don't get too many two cost or heavy cost cards when you only have three energy. Um, try to balance out a little bit. If you have three energy, you can you can take some zero cost cards just to balance out the flow of things. Because if you think about it, you're drawing five cards a turn, and you're probably not playing five cards a turn, right? But if you add a zero cost card here and there, with the five cards that turn you're drawing, you get more balanced turns. And things like Reckless Charge come to mind. Um, yeah, so the, the best thing is just don't get don't do tra too crazy in offense. Keep a nice balance and careful with the cost of cards. I'm going to skip here. Glass Knife is not bad because I have Shuriken, but I don't need it. I'm good. I have not seen a new Elite. People are trying to tell me to play new elite. They're trying to tell me to play the game and uh, tell me it's, I'm in for a surprise. I might do Astrolabe here. Storm of Steel, Eviscerate, Leg Sweep Plus. With a lot of Leg Sweep, we have a Eviscerate and Storm of Steel. I mean, whatever. Eviscerate is probably going to get removed. I could have done Ori and look for Cloak and Daggers. That was probably the better play. It's Ori for Cloak and Daggers. I get Cloak and Daggers, I win the game. So that was probably a mistake. But we're going to go to speed this up. I don't even know if go for elites. I'm, I'm happy. Do footwork this. And let's just go ahead and get all of this. Smack, 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 smack. 
That's so good with ornamental. Doppel. Doppelganger for zero is three, man. It's so good. Just play for free and you get three cards on three energy. That's just nuts. And I love it. This means Silent so much better, guys. I mean, Silent didn't need to get better, but now Silent's better. If Silent wasn't the best already, she certainly is now. Fighter Rare want uh, upgrade our cards. I'll, I'll fight up. I'll get it. Let's do it. So what is this? 60 damage? Am I ready to do it? 60 damage. Hell yeah. Dog has disappeared? Oh, the dog's there. He's just he's under, behind the cover. He's there. He's there. Doppelganger. Let's go for it. I was going to do Crippling Cloud, but nah, I like double. Let's go for it. What do we got? Okay, we got some stuff. Where's Terror? So that's, that's my question. Where's Terror? Yikes. I guess Eviscerate is not bad, but... No, we can make it better. That's that's not bad. Normal Steel is probably better, actually. I didn't, I didn't consider the damage. Old coin. Oh, man. I love it. Old coin. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yes. Not always, Amir. I, 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 sometimes I pick the gold. I can't get the gold because of ectoplasm. And I don't want to upgrade my cards because most of my cards are upgraded by ectoxic egg, right? So the two options are this. Gold. Can't do it. Upgrades. What's the point? So I take the Act 1 boss. But there are times if I have Blue Candle or I need the gold, I'll take the gold a lot. And sometimes I might get the upgrade. But it's between for me, it's the gold and the rare relic. But yeah, look, look. Boom, boom. Easy option. Easy pick. Easy pick. That's 40 damage. So we can do a little bit of that and then that. Four energy, six cards roll. Man, oh man. I can't get over that. I even know what to do with this energy. Rasta Splash, thanks for the follow. If you get the event later in the act of only one or two more clicks for the boss, you're good at up and the upgrade is worth it. Yeah, the upgrade could be worth it. I'm gonna skip. I don't even and the is not bad. It's just like a, a nice way to get the shuriken. But I don't need it. Yeah, we're decks good. Remove a strike? Okay. No, actually, I don't. I want to remove eviscerate. I got to remove a strike. But now we're having trouble getting shuriken, right? So we're going to need to get more cloak and daggers, or we can take infinite blades. I don't mind. I did the couch up so that guy, that guy would kill himself. I mean, Stormer Steel, I guess. Nah, it's hard to have Stormer Steel and Viscerate work together. <laughs> it's anti synergy. But Stormer Steel is, here is fine, right? Well, that's also 77 damage. Let's do this. That's how we get Shuriken. Alright? That's how we do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. About this. Um. Crippling Cloud is weakening the guy in the back as well, but. Let's do this.
Skewer, please. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I, I had nothing to upgrade now. Now it's just, this is where I want Dreamcrasher, because I actually want to rush just to get cards. I, I just need cards now. Give me Dreamcatcher. So we can do this for 30. Hmm, it's actually not as good as I wanted it to be. Let's do this instead. 22. Act 2 elites are risky most of the time, yep. There's only a few times where the Act 3 elites can mess you up and the, like the giant head can mess you up in certain decks. But, um, for the most part. Act 2 elites are probably the hardest, but again, all that can be mitigated by the right cards. If you have malaise, you're doing, you can take on most of the um, elites. If you have good front loader damage, the slavers, etc. Yep. Chemical X gives plus two to all X house cards, so for zero you get three out of it. It's nuts, I know. I know, I know, I know. It took way longer than I wanted to take. <clears throat> Adrenaline. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, Blade Dance wasn't bad. Oh, Blade Dance wasn't bad for Shuriken. Damn, my bad. Guys, I'm upgrading defense. This is a problem. Give me cards. So, since I don't need to do... I might as well go for the Elite. Because I don't need to upgrade anything. I'm going to go for the Elite. Hmm, I want to do Leg Sweep, but I also want to do Cow Traps. We have a lot of Leg Sweep, so we don't have to do Leg Sweep now. We can do Cow Traps, Dodge and Roll, Storm Steel. Actually, I could have left one more to get double scaling. Whoops. I can rest for Dodecahedron. I suppose that's a consideration. I suppose. I actually just took damage there. I was being greedy. Hmm. I don't have to take damage here. I guess I can get Dodecahedron. I think Blade Dance is not bad for shifts, right? We'll take it. I don't mind it. I can rest. There we go. Dodecahedron. There we go. Five energy. That's actually not bad. We're skewer, right? Okay. That's fine. I was go for delete, but... Okay, this guy. This guy. What's up, dude? I don't want to see you. You scare me, man. Train scene scares me. Especially when I don't have, like, poison on him, because... When I don't have Rayform and I don't have poison on him, he's a little scary. We have blur, so you know what? I'm gonna maximize the blur, because the skewer is gonna do some work anyways. So let's maximize the blur. Let's get that out of the way. Let's maximize that blur. So now I don't do anything this turn. Probably get that big blur for this turn right here. This is where it counts the most. Since we don't have blur, I'm gonna go ahead and just attack him. I 
All right, easy peasy. I have I've I just killed him yesterday the other day yesterday. I killed him with the um, ironclad corruption deck two two days ago. Ironclad corruption. He got bursts. Burst doppelganger. Burst. I'll take the burst. Eh, burst cloak and dagger. All right, so let's do artifacts with steroid pot, right? Oh, or is dexterity pot better? Oh, it's too late. Never mind. It's too late. The damage is done. Let's get that out there. Yeah, I shouldn't be playing powers, but I wish we fine. Just the cow traps. You had a good darkest dungeon, like, and then I had to quit the game and leave it work in the middle of the dungeon. When I opened it up, it wasn't in the dungeon anymore, and I lost all my good trinkets. Hey, so that sounds crazy. Is that is that a known issue? That's weird. Oh shit! When you look at yeah, Pincho, there's a you can go back in the vod of me killing him. Um, a uh, mudbutt. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Welcome. Thank you for the support. I should have done the speed potion. I, I, I'll try to get you a uh, Pincho. I'll try to get you a clip of that. Let's look for Blur. I'll look for Blur. If I can't find it, then I'll just do Skewer. Did I tear the Colthus by mistake? I always do that, man. That was a mistake. Trust me, I do not want to tear the Colthus. Did I tear the Colthus? I probably did. I wasn't paying attention. Believe me, that's not something I want to do. That burst blur. A good mobile game? I don't know. I, I liked Clash Royale as a mobile game. Oh, a game that you can play on a plane. Okay, for a game that you can play on a plane... For a plane? Hmm. You know... Do you like chess? <laughs> chess is a good game for a plane. No, I'm trying to think of a good mobile game for a plane. Uh, Ironclad. I would say 80. I would say Ironclad is the best for you. Because uh, I think Ironclad is pretty straightforward. I think also, you know, maybe the defect... You might have some success with the defects. Let's get the essential team defects. Even silent. Ah, oh, man. That's a... Uh, I gave you... I just told you all the characters. For a new player, I would say go on the Ironclad. I think... One second. I'm gonna mute the mic for a bit. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, guys. That was a GG. That was Chemical X on Doppelganger. Chemical X on Doppelganger with Skewer... Obviously, we had Shuriken. It was crazy. It's probably a win regardless of the Chemical X, but Chemical X was kind of an interesting relic. I think we uh, need to be looking at that with the Silent. Definitely approved. Definitely liked it. Smooth sailing. Almost elite. Five points off. Five points off elite. Feels bad. All right.